Have you ever been curious about how to apply the pressure matching method? Well, get your thinking cap on. So here we go. We're going to take the DG1000, which is a dual channel manometer. We're going to connect it to a duct blaster fan. We're going to capture the normal system operating pressure of this air conditioning system. Then we're going to move all the air through the duct blaster fan. And then we're going to capture that system operating pressure while that's taking place. When we do that, the DG1000 is going to tell us how many CFM is moving through the duct blaster. That will tell us, at normal system operating pressure, how many CFM the blower was running. To properly set up the gauge, let's press tubing assistant. Let's select air handler flow. We are inside the building with our DG1000. We are going to use the duct blaster fan. Now, we can click continue and hook up our hoses just as the tubing assistant is telling us to. Okay, I've made my gauge selections. Now let's talk about the parts and pieces. We have the blue hose connected to the first port of channel A. That hose is going to read the supply plenum pressure. We're going to save that on the gauge. The red hose, which is hooked to the first port of channel B, is going to come down here and connect to the duct blaster. The duct blaster is also going to get power connected right here. That power is going to come from the speed controller. Okay, we've got everything hooked up properly. Let's begin the test. Hit the green play button at the bottom of the DG1000. There's our pressure screen. Let's turn our system on so we can now capture the normal system operating pressure. Okay, here's a tech tip. Go ahead and set the DG1000 to a time averaging of 10 seconds. That way, no matter who you're doing the test for, you go ahead and check that box for the ANSI ACA ResNet 310 standard. They want 10 second averaging. That'll cover it for you. So what we need to do now is set NSOP. Now this one's going to count down. So we're going to watch the gauge on this one measurement. It will get to 10 seconds. We can select enter and it'll give us some instructions to move forward. We click OK. We can now turn the system off. The system has captured our normal system operating pressure and put it at the bottom here on the gauge. Now we're gonna hook the duct blaster up and we're gonna make all the airflow for the system go through the duct blaster fan and pull that second static measurement and use the duct blaster fan to get that pressure up there. Watch and learn, here we go. Okay, so here's what we got going on. We got the duct blaster fan. We're gonna turn the system on, that fan's gonna run. We're going to let that blower pull all the air that it can through the duct blaster fan, through this duct, inside the main return, all of the airflow has to come through this path. If the fan can't keep up and get to that normal system operating pressure, we're going to turn the duct blaster fan on to assist that fan to reach that pressure, and then we're going to get a CFM measurement. Okay, let's turn that system back on. We're going to turn power on to the duct blaster fan and we're going to ramp it up to assist the air conditioner fan motor. There we go. We've matched the normal system operating pressure and we can read our CFMs on the right side of the DG1000. That is the pressure matching method. Okay, let's go over the pros. This is a very accurate method and will provide consistent results. It also can be used to complete duct leakage tests. It's also recognized 
by ANSI ACA ResNet for grading new home installations. The cons are that it's very expensive. It requires blocking off the return duct for systems with multiple returns, and it can be time consuming to hook up to the blower cabinet. For a more detailed view on the pressure matching method, check out the step-by-step -step tutorial. Mm -hmm.